And the other big story tonight, they were saying end the violence and stop the violence. No matter how they worded it, students from across the country and right here in the Cape Fear walked out of classrooms this morning, all demanding action. WAY's Basil John has more on the walkouts, which brought hundreds of students together. Two different kinds of walkouts. One message to end gun violence. Our safety is not a privilege, it is a given. We should be able to go to school without having to worry if we are going to lose our lives. At Hoggard High School in Wilmington, students gathered in the courtyard. 17 students spoke, one for each person killed in the Parkland, Florida shooting. Each speech begged for change and encouraged others to join in the movement to make a difference across the nation. I refuse to accept this as the price of our freedom. I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change, but I am changing the things I cannot accept. We will be the generation to end mass shooting. Just up the street at UNCW, a different tone. Hundreds of students and faculty gathered and stood in silence as the clock tower rang 17 times. I think people still across the board feel the same about gun violence. I think that it's a, it's a connection. I think that when you go to school and you go to your work or just wherever you may go day to day, you don't expect gun violence. No matter how it is done, a common goal is shared. We need to educate ourselves and we need to continue with even the politics that are now within two years, if they're still an issue. And at 1017, everyone went back to class to continue with their day, but united in this movement. In Wilmington, Basil John, WWAY News. Thank you, Basil. And there were a lot of schools involved today. And New Hanover County Schools Deputy Superintendent Rick Holliday was actually at Hoggard and said he was happy with how the students acted during the walkout. There were also walkouts in both Brunswick and Pender counties. In Brunswick County, media was not allowed on campus.